Hi guys, Kelly here. Apologies in advance if the camera is shaky. I'm actually holding it so that I can hold it this way round because I can't fit my entire project in if I have the camera the other way round. So this, as you can see, oh sorry guys, is an altered clock um, and I altered it using the Marion Smith, I think it's called Mad Tea Party. Um, so I'm going to talk you through what I did um, and give you some close-ups and what have you. So I started by painting the entire clock, which came just as this piece, um, with an antique white. And then I mounted the clock on a candlestick, which is under all these embellishments down here. And then I mounted that on a piece of wood at the bottom, which I got my husband to cut out for me. So once I painted it white, I then went ahead and started choosing my papers. And all the blue papers except for the clock face so here and at the top I ran through my embossing folder so I used the Tim Holtz um, the gears and clocks so this one has got the clocks on as I'm hoping you can see that's across the top and this one here has also got the clocks on as I'm hoping you can see and then what I did once I'd run it through the embossing folder was just rub over the top of the embossing as sort of as softly as I could so it didn't affect the paper too much some um, Distress Ink in frayed burlap so that the embossing sort of stood out a little bit more. So if I start at the top, there you go guys, I have adhered this beautiful Prima flower, fabric flower and some leaves and a Star Crafters clock there which I've also used the same um, antique white paint on. Then down the sides I left them pretty plain as you can see I love this paper so I didn't want to sort of do too much um, so that's the side I've just put a little Tim Holtz clock key on here and I've done a bit of distressing with the paint around the edges. Then this um, bit here and around the front is the flat paint but around the top and around the bottom it's all texture painted. So that's that side. I'll take you around and show you the other side. Sorry guys, had not making you dizzy. And that's the other side. Then as you can see, for this bit here, I used this piece of paper and I absolutely adore this. It's so pretty. So I cut that to shape and adhered that on. And then like I said, just to stress the edges with a bit of texture paint, I took the clock face out and cut this piece for the center, which is the same as the top and here. And then I adhered some numbers um, these were little wood numbers from my stash and these two are Tim Holtz numbers. So I painted them black and then I rubbed over them with um, my Adirondack um, paint dabber in silver. I kept the clock hands as they were because I thought they were really pretty and they went really well. Then down to the drawer here, um, it was just like a loose, uh, it had like a little uh, bobble on it. So I put this handle on for my stash and this is a fully functioning drawer. I don't know what you'd use your drawer on a clock for but it does function. Then there's texture paint again across here and around the bottom I used this trim and it was a bright white so I just sprayed that with a bit, little bit of Lindy's in clam bake beige. Then I'm going to have to kneel down so I can take you to the bottom. Right so, oh sorry guys, so at the bottom I adhered my papers all the way around again on this block of wood that I had um, my husband cut for me and actually, right let's turn you Okay, so um, I adhered my papers as I said and then I used some of the same texture paint just to distress things a little bit on the paper here and there. Then I went crazy as I usually do with my embellishments. I started with this Prima uh, like pearl, I don't even know what you call it, like a glittery textured spray. I have a Star Crafters clock here, this is a Prima flower little Star Crafters birdie, there's some tool and netting sticking out around the flowers here and there and the flowers are from different places, I've got some Prima, some Recollection, some Wild Orchid Craft, some Craft Supplies One, they're from here, there and everywhere. So round to this side I have a um, chess piece here, another one of the Star Crafters clocks, there you go, back there. This trim I just cut up and used the leaves because I thought it was so pretty. The Recollections flower, some little rosebuds from my stash. At the Star Crafters clock, and I um, embossed that in the gold. It's another one of those leaves behind. There's a clock hand sticking out here. Look, another one of those leaves. 
some more tulle. Then this large foam flower here was from my stash. There is a light bulb, domino, some more netting sort of sticking out. Out, sorry, a baby breast flower sticking out. Um, there is another Star Crafters clock here with some more clock hands, which I'm hoping you can see. Um, hiding in this spray here is a little tiny fairy. That's a little tiny wood fairy that I got from my stash and again some more tool and some more flowers so i'm just going to take you around so that is that side and this is designed so that it can sit flat against the wall but it's also done most of the way around so you can see it so what i might do is just turn that around for you guys so there you go across the back there's another little birdie here and if i take you around sorry if i'm making you dizzy around this side there you go guys that's my project if you have any questions please let me know um i am going to start trying to do some process videos because i have been asked by star crafters to be a guest designer which i'm really looking forward to but Star's asked me to do some process videos so whilst my package is on the way i'm going to have a practice if i can if i get time with something else first so thank you for watching take care bye guys <laughs>